Hey, what's going on YouTube? How y'all doing? It's your boy Jay Laron. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button on your way in, subscribe, and also share. Now, in this video, <laughs> we're going to be talking about um, these women podcasters. Uh, basically, what they're saying is that um, black men who doesn't have holes on the side are considered lame and they're a huge turnoff, right? So, <laughs> these women... Are, are saying that if you if you date one of them right they rather you have women on the side right they, they rather you have women on the side because if you don't have women on the side then you're going to be wanting to have sex with them but you're dating them right but they want you to have women on the side so you could be getting you know serviced by these women because they are not going to give you any while you're dating is, is what they're saying because they're saying if you're trying to press up on them and have sex with them while you're dating then that's a huge turnoff <laughs> you see does that make any sense though but you're dating you're dating and part of dating you know you, you need to try to get to know a person but a part of dating is also there there's got to be some type of chemistry you know going towards sexual activities right so if you want a man to to date you but yet you don't want to give him any sex. So basically they're, they're going to have you on this 30, 60, 90 day Steve Harvey rule while they are, you know, dating you and they want you to be getting your, your, your service, your needs met somewhere else. So they just want you to go out and pay for things, you know, pay for dinners, pay for concerts, pay for, you know, just whatever, whatever y'all doing as y'all are dating. And they're not giving you anything in return, right? So they're saying if you're trying to press up on them and have sex with them, then you're 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 thirsty. You know what I mean? And they don't want to do that. They just want they just want to go out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they doing that dinner whore thing. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get into this video, man. This is uh, I picked this up through Jr. Wisdom. Shout out to Jr. Wisdom. If you want to see the full video of Jr.'s of you know Jr.'s full video, the link is in the description below. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video and listen to what these women got to say. And then there's another woman on here also who's going to be talking about she also wants you to have dick discipline. <laughs> she wants you to have discipline. There's another woman saying she wants you to have discipline while you're dating her as well. So yeah, this this is some crap. But let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, fair use, fair use. My first thought when a nigga is pressed for pussy is like, you a lame. Because why you so yep, pressed? Nobody yep. wants to fuck you. Because yep, yep. I always and feel like uh, when you meet a new nigga, yep. everybody fucking somebody. I'm yep. still fucking my ex. Right. Because I don't want to <laughs> fuck you yet, but I'm done with that nigga. I'm just trying to move on. Right. So you so pressed for my pussy, like nobody is fucking you. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Okay. <laughs> you ain't even getting your little dick suck a little bit. Why? <laughs> a little bit. So what you be thinking, sis? What you be thinking? Honestly, I, I haven't really been outside dating niggas for a while, but I'll say for me, it's like, like you said, you're lame. Yeah. Or like you, I don't like a man that doesn't have sexual discipline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yes. huge. That's okay, sexy. I like that. That's I like sexy. a man who yep. has sexual mm -hmm. discipline. Like, I like a man that will tell me no, because that's yep. going to make me look you yep. hard. Yep. Right? Yep. Tell me yep. no, yep. baby. I'll be like, yep. take them pants off, baby. <laughs> Come on, dad. Well, see, the thing, and I get that, yeah. You want men with discipline. And men can have discipline. But how long do you expect a man to wait why y'all dating to have sex, right? See, a lot of women kill me when they think that men, you know, don't want sex from them or should not expect sex when they're dating. You know, it's, it's like y'all y'all want men to wait. You know, y'all want to give it a timeline, you know, three dates, four dates, five dates, six dates, you know, whatever, right? But a lot of y'all want to go three, four months, you know, two, three, you know, anywhere from 30 to, to 90 days before y'all even try to get a man anything. You know, and the thing is, when men are dating, you know, sex is on the table, right? Especially after the third date, I man. After the third date, sex is definitely on the table. But the, like this woman just said, she she's she's screwing her her ex, right? So, okay, screw your ex. And a lot of thing, another thing I know is, is some women, man, they they sit up when you go on a date when you first meet them. They, and women will ask you, how long has it been since you had sex? They will ask you that. And they'll sit up and, t and say it's, it's been a year for them, you know, eight months to a year. You know, I get that a lot. And then but they want you to 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 um, be the same. Exactly. You know, some women, they'll sit up and say, 
they ask you how long has it been since you had sex and you'll tell them a week and they'll look at you like you're crazy <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i don't y'all women man y'all need to make up y'all mind on what y'all want y'all be dating guys and y'all get mad if the guy is dating you it'll be y'all first date or whatever and it's been a week since he had sex but then on here you got women saying that well he should have other hoes and be having sex while we dating you know it's like y'all cannot make up y'all mind on what y'all want you know what i mean but to be realistic you shouldn't be mad when a guy when you first start dating a guy that a guy has been sleeping with somebody else you shouldn't be mad at that because you, how can you expect a man to be you know dating not in a serious relationship with anybody and be like five six months to a year without having any sex that's bull ain't no ain't no guy gonna do that I, you know majority of us not majority of the guys are not going to go that route so yeah ladies y'all need to know when y'all do meet a man don't be surprised if it's y'all first date and he's recently had sex within the last two or three weeks or you know maybe sooner than that you know what i'm saying so but yeah don't 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 be surprised just just don't be surprised at that but yeah let's get back to this video man well these, yeah these women are trip they say they want you to to already have holes on the side and be and be you know messing with them cause a lot of and, and and like she said she's sleeping with her ex but like i said some women they'll be shocked when you tell them that you're still sleeping with somebody while you're dating them you know it's like it's a, it's a double standard type deal but some women prefer it some women don't but women if y'all are in a, starting to date somebody and that guy's still sleeping with somebody while he's dating you do not be surprised cause it will happen trying to say something yeah but no yeah. Bro, it's like uh, yeah all that rah rah like oh yeah. i'm trying to or or oh my god this was like when i was younger they'd be like oh yeah like so what's this looking like what's this looking like i'm like send me a picture oh my god yeah. like yeah. i'm a lady hey, yeah. like i'm gonna cuss my church pearls right yeah right y'all women know y'all be sending them damn pictures if a guy you like that looks good six foot six six feet all that six six inch six abs whatever everything the sixes y'all know if that guy asks you for a pic of, the, of them titties or or that monkey y'all go send it so just a quick quick front please, please. <laughs> yeah i like that because i feel yeah. like a man who has sexual yeah. discipline yeah. it says a lot about his character exactly. yeah he cares exactly. about because yes. well, he probably exactly. really like no well, let me get to know you first exactly. because we're exchanging energy so right. exactly. it's very rare and and, and, and that's you. sexy oh, that's that's yeah. intimate for a man to get inside your head mm. and your soul and before, before he, he gets in, get in your pants Lord, Amen. Amen. you feel me hot so you want a guy to get inside your your mind and your soul yet you still banging the next dude over here <laughs> you know what i'm saying how, how is that how's he gonna be able to get inside your mind and your soul when you still having sex with your ex all right let's keep it moving how I sexy is thinking, that i be thinking they got an std they trying to give away <laughs> <laughs> they probably are because why so I've addressed this topic in the past, fellas. I've addressed this topic a few times. The fact that a lot of you guys be pressuring these women, it's a complete turn off. I had some text messages I posted from a young lady. I'll, I'll find the video and link it here, where she said this guy was just pressed. And she really asked me, she was like, what's the rush? What is the rush with men? The rush is the fact that some men have a scarcity mindset, which is a complete turn off to women smell this on you guys women can smell this on you they want to know that you're actively getting some buns that you actively got a roster even though they want to speak out against it because they have a roster this you heard what she said i'm sleeping with my ex Are you yeah but and, and just to say something else on this yeah men do men can still i can men can be sleeping with another woman dating this woman eventually he's gonna want sex with this woman that he's dating right he's not gonna be sitting up spending a lot of time taking her out doing this doing this for months on end and not getting the buns you know what i'm saying so even though he's tapping this one over here the woman that he's dating he's not going to go too long without getting it you know what i'm saying so in a way yeah you don't want to be like too aggressive on on asking for sex but women know after a certain amount of time of dating and y'all going out you go want to hit you know what i'm saying because if i'm sitting up here dating you and we're getting close especially if we're getting close to 30 days and there's no talk of sex or anything like that is on the table 
and I'm and I but I know I'm still smashing somebody else, then yeah, it's going to dwindle down. The, the, the amount of time I want to spend with you dating you is going to is going to dwindle down because eventually the man wants sex, and if the woman is making you wait thirty days, sixty days, she's playing a game at this point. It's just a game. So, but yeah, like I said, I understand you don't want to be too pressed. You don't want to be all up on them in the beginning, but don't spend too much time with that woman like that if if she's not offering any sex you know it, it's got to be a certain time frame for her to start you know talking about it you know getting closer and you know but if they just still kind of standoffish and ain't trying to give you nothing no you know you might as well move on you ain't getting no head no nothing no nothing guys when you meet a woman chances are and just like anybody it's not just guys it's men and women you never run across a woman who's really single usually it's more often guys you have to single but most of the time when you meet somebody you're actively engaging with someone sometimes i won't always say sexually but most of the time you are a lot of these women will come across and say jr i haven't had sex in two or three years or i haven't had sex in months they won't say i just had sex last night because they'll think that it makes them look like a slut but you're dating guys you're dating and one of the mm -hmm. things we're gonna play this clip right here for this young lady she talks about you ain't got no hoes you ain't got no hoes it's just one of those things guys Men think that we want to hear that they're not talking to other women. I am so sorry, but like, please tell me that you get bitches. Because if you tell me you have no hoes, I'm sitting here wondering why. And then I'm questioning, like, why do I like you? Because why do I want to be with a man with no bitches who can't pull bitches? Like, ew. No one. Right. That's why I say, like, when when you when you're going out on a date. That's why I tell, like I said, I tell them if a woman asks me, because they will ask you, like I said, women will ask you how long it's been since you have sex. I tell them I just had sex last week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not going to say, no, I ain't, I ain't had none in months. Hell no. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. You don't want to tell them that you ain't had none in months. Because like she said, they're going to be wondering, well, how come you ain't got no hoes? How come you ain't got no women? And then, and like I said, it's good to have some women on the side while you're dating because you might run into one who wants want you to wait 30, 60, 90 days. So yeah, like I said, when I when I when I go out on a date and like I said, women will ask you how long has it been. I tell them, hey, I just had some last week. You know, either they go run with it and deal with it or not. You know, see, you know, if you say if you feel like, hey, well, I don't want to deal with you because you know you've had sex within a week, you're dealing with somebody. Hey, fine, bounce. I find somebody else. I'm still smashing this one over here, so it really don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get back into it. The flip side, you heard when they asked the other young lady, they were talking about just she likes a man that has sexual discipline. He's not out there plugging everything. I want him to mind fuck me first. I don't want him basically trying to slide up in. He can step back. I get there's points of doing that. You don't want to be too thirsty, which I consider sexual discipline. That's why you need to have a start in five, fellas. Obviously, I encourage you guys whacking off as well. You guys should be whacking off or you dealing with something because you're going to be too pressed about getting at her and you're going to end up turning her off. She likes a man that's just not into her to the point where you're just like, like she said, give me them draws, give me them draws. Nah, you escalate and de-escalate. You don't want to be all over her like, da, da, da. it needs to happen. It needs to happen naturally, but you got to be cool and suave about it. Right, but you don't want to, you don't want to be, you don't want it to be take forever either. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, yeah, you want to, you want to kind of slow, you know, pump the gas, you know, pump, pump the brakes. You know what I mean? You like say, you don't want to be too pressed. You got to pump the brakes, but you don't want it to drag on either. So even though you smashing somebody else, you don't want it to drag on. That's what women like. They want to hear all them fantasies and whisper sweet nothings and all those things. Why don't we run away together? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But yeah, but that's it. The rest of this is just these guys talking about telling girls sweet nothings and, and all that. But yeah, man, like I said, you know, these women, they, they sit up and say one thing. It's like they they all got all this shit running around in the head. <laughs> you know, they, they they spitting out this, they spitting out that. But yeah, so like I said, if, if you are dating, man, don't don't be one of those guys who sitting up won't trying to press it, pressure these girls for sex. Because most of the time, if you just meeting them, they having sex. They ain't went no year, eight months, six months without having sex, even though they'll tell you that. That's not the case. So don't be one of them guys that's like you say, hard up, hard pressed. Have you have you a couple of women on the side that you hit while you dating this one woman? Because like I said, she'll probably be one who wants you to wait 30, 60, 90 days. All right. But uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this, man. And 
Y'all drop some comments down below. It's your boy Jay Larone. Please be good to yourself. By all means, let's be good to each other. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.